Welcome back to TV Nation. Now, uh, where, where are you guys from? Florida. Florida. Well, who's the governor of Florida? Who knows? Where were you from? Uh, Santa Monica, California. Oh, yeah? Who's the governor of California? Uh, Pete Wilson. Where, where are you guys from? Fargo, North, Fargo, North, Dakota. Dakota. North Dakota. Who's the governor of North Dakota? You don't know? <laughs> oh, man. You know, Newt Gingrich in the Congress, he, you know, they want to return power to the states, right? That's what I've heard. I think if power is going back to the states, I should get close to that power. Yes, I think so. I mean, real close. <laughs> How close? This close. It used to be that the president and Congress ran this great country of ours, but lately it's been a little confusing. Return power to the states and return power to the people. Governors are often more aware than presidents or members of Congress. It's not complicated. It's not complicated. I think people in America have less faith now in the federal government than ever before. More power to the states, more power to the people. The real power lies with governors like Gaston Caperton, Jim Guy Tucker, Zell Miller, Phil Bat, Bob James, Mike Symington. They say they know how to save our country because they're more in touch with the American people than those Washington fat cats. But I hadn't heard of any of them. So I decided to embark on a mission to touch the people who are in touch with the people. That's right, I decided to hug all 50 governors. I began my hugging mission at the state capitals, but quickly realized there was a better way. Governors conferences, where governors get together, play golf, and decide how they're going to use all that new power. I tracked down my first governors conference in our nation's capital. I want to hug yes. when you say hello. Yes. I want to hug yes. when it's time big to go. I want oh, okay. Things got off to a rousing start. All I ask is don't forget me in the morning. <laughs> Governor Simonton liked me so much, he went for a double. And Governor Thompson's aide wanted to get in on the action, too. You are beautiful. But then I seemed to lose my touch. First, the Illinois governor's guards okay. turned nasty. All right. Hey, All right. Let's stop. No. hey, it's just a hug. Oh, no, come, come on, on now. And Governor Carlson hug. didn't want anything to do with me. Have you hugged all 50 now? I'm trying. I'm only up to 10. Then the Massachusetts governor wouldn't hug me at all. Nor would Virginia's. And then it got even worse. The next to shut me out was Governor Engler, the governor of my home state. Let's take a look at that again. Yeah, he must not have recognized me. We'll catch you later, Michael. Hmm, perhaps I needed a different approach. So at the next governor's conference, I tried a new strategy. Instead of just going in for the hug, I would smooth the way with a little sweet talk. You know, you're a very honest guy, and, you know, you say it, you tell it like it is. It's a friendly state. It's right next to Michigan. <laughs> then, when I'd softened them up just the right amount, I went for their love handles. Oh, we need more hugs these days. It worked like a charm. Good. The Democrats. Go for it. Democrats in 96, huh? Right. Oh, that's good. I like that. Rather hug by you than uh, Rush. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one. Let's see it again. <laughs> Even former governors were melting in my arms. Yeah, you're not a governor, are you? Uh, that's, I was. I'm not a governor anymore. I don't even have to be nice to you. <laughs> Even with my success, I still had a whopping 37 governors left to hug. The good news was that they'd all be at the National Governors Conference in Burlington, Vermont. From the moment I stepped off the plane, I began honing my hugging technique on everyone in sight. I was a hugging machine. Finally, true power was within my grasp. But not every governor shared my dream. In fact, they knew I was coming and had mobilized reinforcements to keep me out. Sir, you, you've been asked not to come in, okay? Who's asked me not to come in? I'm asking you, and I'm going to say, please, down here. Yeah. All I want to do is give him a hug. Well, you're going to have to leave. I'll get your hug later. Can I give you a hug? No. Are you going to leave? I'm going to leave if you tell me to leave. Yes, sir, I'm telling you to leave. Sir. And if we don't leave, what happens? Then, sir, you're going to be arrested. Arrested? No, no, yes. I don't want that. I don't want that. Remember Governor Engler? We'll catch you later, Michael. I'd heard he'd blown the whistle on me at this governor's conference there would be no hugs. But we're not going to tolerate any kind of problem here. Mm -hmm. And you've already been, you know, annoying the people here. And annoying people with hugs? As I said, you know, I'm happy to uh, facilitate any governor that wants to talk to you. You're not going to give us the same access the other press has here. No. 
Since they wouldn't give me press credentials, I tried some hit and run hugging on my own. While I managed a few hugs, I still wasn't making great progress. Abrazado. Quiero abrazar, abrazado. Can I have a hug? A little hug? The only people these governors were in touch with were their bodyguards. All this resistance just because I wanted a hug. I want a hug when you say hello. I want a hug when it's time to go. I want a hug because I want you to know I'm awfully fond of you. State police, You're right up there, sir. the National Guard, oh my God, scary-looking dogs. Come on, hug me. You had to give them credit. They sure knew how to keep someone from getting hugged. They were giving credentials to anyone but me. So you were able to get in here. I couldn't get a media pass. I got a network show. I know, I watched that. Wait a minute. <laughs> you don't have police credentials? No. Well, they told me I had to have police credentials. Okay, they brought out the police dogs now. Um, so, yeah. Would you mind um, taking my ball cap down there, letting the dog sniff it, so do he knows it. I'm a friend? Yeah, do my best. Hi, I don't want to go in. Can I just have the dog sniff this uh, thing here? Can the dog just sniff this thing? No. Just Put drop, it down. Drop it. Drop it. Even my hat got turned away. And at that point, they said that I should leave the area. <laughs> leave the area. First, I couldn't get in, and now I couldn't even stand outside. Okay. We'll follow those rules. Okay, I appreciate that, Okay, sir. thank you. Thank you. Although, I think I've just been invited to the wedding. Look, my sister's getting married! Come on out! Well, I need somebody to come down and invite me up! It looked like I was going to get in the governor's hotel after all. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How you doing? Much. Governor, can I have a hug? No, you can't have oh, a hug. Oh, come on. Give me a hug. Come on. Joe and Susan had felt my pain and invited TV Nation to share their special day. I may not have gotten to hug all the governors, but at least I got to kiss the bride. Oh, thanks, Mike. I've been cured of my need to embrace gubernatorial power. They're no more in touch with the people than those federal guys. Free drinks on TV Nation! I'd be better off just hugging the people. Thank you for having us here. And I'll tell you, you're a lot friendlier than the governors across the hall. All right. But it wasn't all in vain. I had some magic memories. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, good.